Hello everybody and welcome back to English Life with Benjamin. Today I wanted to give you some really useful and important phrasal verbs and expressions in English, okay? I'm sure you are aware that phrasal verbs are used in everyday spoken English by native people and they can be really, really difficult to master and even use because they have so many different meanings and so many different uh, possible ways of using them. But today, we are going to master some really useful and extremely important ones and then you are going to hopefully be able to use them in your conversations and your everyday life when you need to and when you want to. Without further ado, let's get started. On, the, on this side of the board, we have got have a go. Have a go at something, it means to try. I'm going to have a go at this activity. Maybe I won't be good at it, but I'm going to try and give it my best, okay? Have a go to try. Make something up. Number two, make up the thing that you can put on your face, on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheeks. But this phrasal verb means to invent something, to invent something that is not true, to say something that is not true. I didn't want to go to the party yesterday, so I made up an excuse. Oh my God, I lied. But I really didn't want to go, so I felt like I needed to. Number three, take risks. Do we like to take risks? Do you like to take risks? I mean, what do you consider as taking a risk? Jumping out of an aeroplane? Bungee jumping? Parachuting? Swimming with sharks? Uh, touching a tarantula? Mm, not studying for an English exam and having it in two days time? Well, you tell me in the comment section below what you think taking a risk is. I can think of many. Go on. Go on means to continue. You say, oh, I'm so tired. I can't go on studying anymore. Keep on, continue. To go on means to continue doing something, anything. Mm. The series has been going on for years. The series has continued for years, okay? Last one here, to do up, to refresh, to renovate, to make it better condition. This living room, the paint is coming off the walls. The floor is broken, for example. It's not true. It's not true, okay? To do up, to do up a room, to do up a building, to do up a house, means to renovate, to refresh, to make it look like new again. Good. I've got one more side of phrasal verbs and expressions for you. To clear up or tidy up. I think you know this one, to organize, to organize, okay? So, maybe you need to put things away, another phrasal verb, in the cupboard, in the wardrobe, in the chest of drawers, to tidy up, to clear up, to organize, all one and the same. To wear out, well, wear out means let me give you an example first. Running for five hours really wears me out. What do I mean? I mean it makes me tired, okay? If something wears you out, it means something that makes you tired. Last week, I ran five marathons and I was worn out. You could say I was Exhausted. Exhausted. That is an extreme adjective to say tired. Okay? Three more. Pick up someone from the airport to collect. Tomorrow, I'm going to pick my friend up from the airport. I'm going to collect her. My children from school. My father from the... from the... from his trip or something like this. Okay? Good. Two more. Get on with means to have a good relationship. Or, I don't get on with, I don't have a good relationship. Okay? 
I get on, I get on with my colleagues. You know, I, I really get on well with my colleagues. We have a good relationship. Or I really don't get on well, unfortunately, with my colleagues. We are very different people. Finally, get hold of means to be able to get in contact with someone. So, all or not. Yesterday, I, I couldn't get hold of my mum. It was all, it was impossible because she was really busy. I couldn't contact her. She didn't pick up the phone. Or, uh, it, it's been really difficult to get hold of my brother the past few weeks. He's been busy with children and with work, etc. Guys, we have just very quickly gone through in detail, some examples for some phrasal verbs, some expressions. Now, if you like these expressions, give me some examples in the comments section below. Let me see some of your examples. And if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel to see plenty of more, co plenty more content or plenty more videos. Okay, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely rest of the day wherever you are. And I look forward to seeing you next time in the next video. Thank you guys. See you.